All right. What's up, tycoons? What up, traders? Super excited for today's video. We are actually going to be taking a look at Polygon, all right? Breaking down Polygon Matic on the daily chart. And what we are looking at, okay, is and paying heavy, close attention to is these three levels, the 38.2, the 50%, and the 61.8%. These are our retracement levels right in here to continue heading higher and hit our breakout level of 1.30 and potentially hit some of the bullish price targets of 1.45 and 1.64. Now, if we do not hold these retracement levels as support and we come up, we bounce and we continue heading lower, then we have a possible reversal. So we would look like this. All right. Now, uh, I am slightly bullish. OK, cautiously bullish going into this week. So far, we are holding the levels. Uh, we're holding right above the 50 percent level right now. We have come down and test. Uh, the 61.8 has been a valid support previously in the past. So if we do come back down here, okay, there is a potential that we could bounce back up, but this is really going to be the line in the sand. And if we break through this level, all right, it's going to be our breakout level to the downside and send us either to 0.52 or 0.031, like I said, as a reversal to ultimately retest these lows. Now, there are other signals you can use besides this. And what we're going to take a look at is the relative strength index down here. Okay. So notice how we have a high right here. Okay. And then we have a higher high right here. So clearly the token is in an uptrend, but the relative strength index has a high and then a lower high. So it's actually losing strength as it's rising up in price. This is known as a bearish divergence. Okay. And we can use these divergences to indicate possible future momentum. If we look here, it ended up dropping 28% and ultimately 34% based off of that uh, bearish divergence signal. So over here, we have actually an example of some bullish divergence. Okay. And this time we're making lower lows, right? So we have a low, lower low here. We have a low, higher low here. The relative strength is increasing while the token price is going down. This is what's known as a bullish divergence. And it ended up leading into a very big rally. So these divergences can, you know, bring you some very profitable trades, right? This ended up going 230% up off the bullish divergence. And we just took a look at the 30% drop off of the bearish divergence. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to zoom out a little bit and go back here in the past. And I'm just going to show you guys how the retracement levels work for continuing a trend, which is what we would look for in this case, right? We're looking for a trend continuation to the upside, um, I'm going to show you guys a valid instance of a trend continuation, but it's actually going to be to the downside. Um, and we're going to use the same system that we use to get some bearish price targets right here, aka support levels, um, and you know how they were all validated. Okay, just so you can repeat the process over here and really understand what's going on. So what we've done, right, is we've taken our swing low, right, and connected it to our swing high. So we have a swing low up here. Uh, or a swing high up here, we have a swing low down here. And what we're looking for is a retracement, okay? And then a continuation of the trend, right? And what we can see is we come up here and we get stopped at the 50% level of the retracement, right? So this is a downward move. You're going to retrace to the upside. We got a strong rejection right over here and we continued to the downside. And then once we broke through our breakout level, we ended up coming down and hitting the 127 and the 1681 support level. So again, we're using the same methodology over here and we're looking for a continuation to the upside, right? Boom, 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 like this. And we're going to look for the 127 and the 1618 on the FIBS as breakout levels and bullish price targets to the upside, aka resistance. But if we come here, right, and we've already made the large move up and we bounce and then we continue heading lower and we break these as support levels, we have the 100%, the 127, and the 161.8, again, as our bearish price targets, aka support. And those line up with the price action in the recent history of the chart pretty well, right? We can see, you know, right around in this range, if I can draw a straight line, was previous support, okay, right through here. And then right around here as well is right around where we bottomed, all right? So the price is naturally uh, going to be attracted to these areas if we reverse, and it's naturally going to be attracted to these levels to the top side if we continue the trend. Now, on top of bearish divergence and using the retracement levels, you can also look for some chart patterns, right? And what really gives you an edge in the market is when you are able to combine a chart pattern along with a divergence, um, aka just combining signals, right? So 
In this case, what we have is actually a um, bearish pattern, right? So we have a left shoulder, we have a head, we have a right shoulder. This is a head and shoulders pattern. It's a bearish pattern. And what we're seeing as well is that the price is going up and we have a high, right? And then a higher high. So we're seeing that, you know, clearly the token is in an uptrend making higher highs, but we have a high and a lower high on the relative strength index, clearly in a downtrend. This is meaning that, you know, the strength of the token has weakened as it's gone up higher, right? And we see, you know, there's a pretty dramatic drop um, at the very first instance of this bearish divergence. There's a 35% drop. And then we get a slight rebound, but ultimately we end up dropping over 50%. And if you continue dragging it on over here, you could say over 70%, right? But just for the head and shoulders to play out, you know, with the bearish divergence, we end up getting over a 50% drop right there on the token price, combining signals and patterns together, okay? Now, here is an example of us coming up and hitting the bullish price targets, um, you know, like the ones that we have right now. Okay. So in this case, we were able to come up, hold the retracement levels, the 38.2, right? So we have a swing low connected to a swing high. We come up, we retrace, we hold the 61.8, and then we ultimately come up higher, right? And we're able to break past the 161.8 bullish price target. And then look at where it becomes resistance in the past, right? So we have a short breakout above it, then we get a bearish divergence at that slight breakout above it. And then we see the next candlestick really opens right there and has a sharp drop that ultimately continues the much larger drop to the downside, right? So, you know, this is just two examples of divergences working, right? Whether it's bullish or bearish. And then also examples of holding the retracement levels, continuing higher, hitting your bullish price targets to the upside. And then also over here um, to the right, we are using the same process again. And what we're seeing is a continuation after holding the uh, retracement levels, right? So we have the sharp move downside, hold the retracement levels, continue downwards. We break through our uh, breakout level and then we hit our bullish or our bearish price targets to the bottom in this case as well. So that's it for today's video. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe. And if you enjoyed, learned anything new, um, we do have a discord, all right, where you can join our trading community. Uh, it's the Options Trading Tycoons Discord. The link is in the description below. Make sure to use code Zachly for a discount. And, you know, inside that room, we have a lot of news channels. Uh, we really cover a lot of stuff. We have a crypto signals channel. We have a crypto breakout channel. Um, there's lots of good stuff in there. And if you really just want to join a community uh, full of individuals ready to trade and looking for opportunities, then it's a great room to be in.